Hi, I'm Dr. Richa Mithel, Medical Director and Physician here at Radiant Health Weight Loss and Wellness. I have Meredith Wogalter here. She's our medical assistant, and uh, she has generously offered to share some of her journey with her own weight loss. And we thought we would today talk about the use of meal replacements and how they can be used as a tool on your own weight loss journey. So thank you, Meredith, yeah, for talking today. So tell me a little bit more about how you found meal replacements to be a uh, tool in your own um, medical journey. Sure, so uh, when I began my weight loss journey, um, a big portion of the starting stages uh, was to be on meal replacements completely. And so I spent about um, two weeks on liquids only using protein shakes only. Um, which definitely works to kickstart your weight loss journey pretty quickly. Um, I did have weight loss surgery, and so after that surgery, it was mandatory then to have the meal replacements for the following few weeks. I think I was on the meal replacements for another week and a half after surgery uh, before I was even able to get back on solid foods. But So that was a big uh, starting point for me because it kind of act to flush out my system of all the things that I was craving, all the things that uh, were working negatively against my body and kind of give me a clean slate. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I was kind of able to start to introduce regular food, but also staying with some of the meal replacement shakes, sometimes the bars. A lot of the time I would use the shakes in place of like a dairy creamer in coffee or um, as like a in-between if I was feeling like I was hungry, but I didn't really need to have a full meal. And um, it was great on the go because I was, I'm very much an on-the-go person. I have a busy schedule. so. To be able to just throw those in my bag or uh, bring them with me to like a Starbucks and throw them on ice with some coffee was just super convenient. That's for me. a great idea. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm hearing from Meredith is basically what we kind of talk about in our practice is that we're going to be eating real food and even if you're not having bariatric surgery but going through a medical weight loss um, journey, you need to be able to have things that you can reach for that you know are a good option and you know when you're on the go or ideas like taking it to Starbucks that's um, ingenious mm -hmm. I never thought of that <laughs> um, but you know things like that can be easy fixes for when you're on the go or when you don't want to really have to think about um, what to pack um, when you're um, leaving from home in the morning so it could be as easy as maybe blending up a shake that you could add your own uh, fresh fruit to um, or maybe um, adding coffee to that, uh, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, so that's part of your morning routine. But what we find is that meal replacements are a great tool as an adjunct to your real food, because in the end, we all need to be eating real food. Mm -hmm. But when we can use a bar or a shake or even a protein pasta mm -hmm. that we have um, to use as a substitute for maybe go-to foods like rice um, that you've just been kind of automatically used to reaching for, that may not be the best thing for while you're making this lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, do you have any particular favorite favorites that you used along the way or that maybe you still use now? So I, uh, I was always a big fan of the Premier Protein. I liked how it was already a pre-made shake and so it made it very easy for me to just take it to go. Uh, a big thing was I would actually take any kind of protein powder and mix it in with yogurts. I would mix it in with uh, mashed cauliflower, you know, finding there's unflavored ones, there's flavored ones, and so having the different flavors really helps you to just add a little bit of boost for protein content, you know, if you're someone who's plant-based and you don't find that you get enough protein during the day, or, um, you know, they make ones that are pea-based versus whey-based, and so mm -hmm. if you're, you know, you have problems with dairy or you have problems with any of those allergens, you know, it's a great way to add it in. Um, I'm a big fan of a lot of different kinds of bars. Um, the lemon flavored ones are always my favorite because they're not too sweet, but um, they're just a great way when I'm sitting in, I, being a student, I actually go and sit in four hour lectures with no breaks and so having a bar that I can just quickly open and you know munch on while I'm sitting there is just, it's super helpful to get through those longer periods when yeah. I'm feeling really hungry. And when you're looking for a bar, you wanna find one that has protein, um, ideally, if it has fiber, that's even better. And you want to look for something that's low in sugar. So, uh, you know, I know we carry the salted toffee pretzel and the vanilla crisp, and then Meredith uh, made a recommendation. We're going to add some chocolate ones mm -hmm. soon uh, because I think chocolate is a popular flavor in general with all of us. So 
Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And I think that, um, you know, we're always all looking for, for ways to make things easier for ourselves. And I think meal replacements can sometimes just be that kind of go-to that you don't have to think about as much. Awesome. Thank you.